guys, I'm literally, I was doing something completely different. And I saw a tweet and I'm doing the most YouTube thing I've ever done, uh, which is I didn't want to click on the tweet. I was like, let, let me record and let me talk about this tweet because I don't want to like randomly stream. Uh, look, look what was just tweeted. Like, I think it's, it's right now. Yeah, it was like half an hour ago. Uh, like this, this. I have no idea what Gozi Line is. What the hell is Gozi Line? Gozi Line is something written in Japanese, but Gozi Line is saying uh, World's Fastest, so I guess that's like World Premiere. Uh, fastest play, I guess like first play on the Evo Japan 2024 demo version of Hunter x Hunter Nen Impact. Uh, also Hunter x Hunter Nen x Impact for the people who don't know how to read. Uh, a masterpiece that both beginners and fighting game fans can enjoy. And there is a video plus an article that looks quite long. Uh, so I was like, yeah, let's take a look, man. Let's let's go. Let, let, <laughs> fighting games. <laughs> it's time for the opium, man. Let's take a look. Let me let me let, let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. This 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 does look quite mugen. I can't lie. I'm not gonna comment on animations because that looks stiff as hell. But I, that's a very early version, so I'm 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 gonna try to like just understand uh, how the game works. If we take a look, obviously. Uh, very, you know, Marvel slash Dragon Ball, you know, we have a 3v3, uh, the three life bars, over gear, uh, hopefully they show this on the video, whatever over gear is, maybe sparking, uh, super bars, you can see assists right there, let's take a look, yeah, calling a gun assists, I take a look, clearly re recoverable life right there, standards, as well, I see, I see bombos, Let's go. Okay. Air combos, OTGs. It got a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. That he was in. This is <laughs> this is some guilty gear strife design. Uh, that's okay. That's a placeholder. I don't. I'm not writing. Oh, five bars. So five bars is the max you get. Uh, he is currently in overgear, I have no idea what this does. You know, you can see the bungee gum. Let's see. So this looks very target combo heavy. Yeah, okay. Three jumps. That looks like Wolverine in uh, Marvel 3. <laughs> That's ghast. <laughs> Nah, that's, this is sick. <laughs> Oof, well, watch it again. How many bars? So wait, hold up. Earlier we saw five bars max, but right now it says three bars max. Uh, is it maybe you get more bars as you get less characters? We'll take a look. Let's try to understand. I want to do first watch and then try to understand some systems and then we can read. This article. This is gassed. Down. Oh, and he keeps the form for uh, for the winning pose. Okay. Okay. That was short, obviously, but takeaways for me, right? Obviously, again, right? I don't want to talk about about the game's animations and visuals. I think it's very basic in terms of visuals, but it does the job. Like, the, the characters are clean, the backgrounds are... Background is basic. Uh, you know, no real... Like, no real issue for this. Uh, it's more... I think for me, it's more understanding what's happening on the game side, right? Like, all of the things, right? You can see the bars. Uh, what's that one? Is it a game that plays in multiple rounds as well? Uh, see, like, Kirua seems to have some kind of cancel mechanic there. I like the fact that they are like very, they're very OTG heavy. That looks more Marvel than uh, than Dragon Ball, if anything. Yeah, it's pretty much the one. Uh, and see, there is n the one that we saw earlier is not there anymore, so I'm not entirely sure what this one. So a gun assist, the Jajanken. I wonder if uh, Jajanken is going to be a uh, a random outcome or something you can control, because that would that would actually be a, a fun one, you know, like. One of these assists that does multiple stuff. Ginyu, right? Ginyu from Dragon Ball. Every time you launch it, something different happens. So wait, that's uh No, that's an assist, not a tag, right? 
because he charged an assist to Nitero behind. Alright, and then it's pressure. Boom. Okay. Yeah, a lot of conversions. Uh, what's this in bars? That was a level 1. Only one bar on the, on the right. Okay, happy birthdays exist, obviously. The level 3 is happy birthday -ing. Wait, that's a level 3? I don't know, like... That's a level 1. I'm guessing there is a level 3 if you have that many bars. Usually you do have a... a gun anyway, like did level 3 earlier. That's uh, how much? Yeah, that's a level 1 as well. That does OTG. Yeah, it's, it's very Marvel. I would really like to know what that overgear mod does. Yeah, like that. They, they're really good with the uh, source material. And yeah, so this is all three. So hold up. When when did we see five? Right here. Right here, Hisoka has five. Is it an overgear thing? Is it because he's the final character? Because like when Gon gets there, he, there are still three characters. So the wild guess is that when you only have like every time you lose a character, you have one more bar. Uh, that's like KOF. If you guys play KOF, the first character has uh, three bars, the second character has four, and the third character has five. Uh, I think that's very similar to KOF. I, I mean, you know, things considered, I do like how this looks. This looks very, this looks very, like, Marvel-y. It's, it's, it's closer. I mean, you know, it looks closer to Marvel than to uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, but I do like how it looks. Uh, being OTG heavy is why I say it's very Marvel heavy if you play Marvel 3. Uh, OTGs are the thing you get way too much. Uh, that's actually one of the things I... <laughs> that's stuff that made me stop playing Marvel 3 back in the days. I hate going on the ground and being continued, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and there's an article right there. Obviously, I do not read uh, Japanese. I'm not weeb enough, so we are going to go for good old uh, Google Translate and try to understand what the hell uh, is this. You know, it was probably by 18. Yeah, I know. That's cool. Uh, yeah, six characters, that's the one they show, right? God, Kiryu, Akura, Pika, Leorio, Hisoka, and Netero. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, it's also made with great continuation for fighting games beginner. I'm scared. Please don't make this... <sighs> Please stop making games that we can just bash buttons and stuff, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's friendly and entertaining, whatever. I wanna know if, if it shows... We'll choose the overview and play feel of the trial version. Okay. Uh... 3-on-3 three three is difficult, still take advantage of the character, strength, fly around, okay, blah blah. A lot of this is very Japanese translated, so I'm trying to check, to take a look at what, uh, how that works. Uh, uh, the, special move are, the special move are super simple, the mechanism is you can perform any art by pressing one direction key plus art button. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't really care, I mean I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna launch that debate, but for the love of God, I hope it's not a, uh, hey, we removed command no command moves because they're too hard. Command moves are not hard. Like, tell me, tell me in the comments. You, if you're here, you most likely play Dragon Ball or any fighting game. Do you have trouble doing color circles? Let me know. Uh, so yeah, it's it looks like it's a. So there is a super button and it's direction plus super. So it's Street Fighter Six modern basically. You know, a smash. Uh, the OR arts that are so that's the level ones I guess. So you know six. Plus art or like four for art. So for Kiria. Oh no, okay, art are specials. Alright, so you have a special. So you have like normal special, forward special, and back special, okay. Uh, and then aura art, which I'm guessing is super, yeah. Uh, so it's Nen plus art, so Nen, I guess it's key charge or like whatever it does. Uh, and then the three gauge is. Oh, so okay, it's all direction and button. Okay, uh, some people may think that simple commands are so-called simple commands, but they're regular commands. In other words, it's a fighting game that eliminates special move commands. Okay. Uh, okay. Combos are a combination of regular moves. Uh, a rush button, so, it, so yeah, they're doing like some kind of auto combo. Uh, let's see, I mean, I feel like fighting games... They're all too busy doing auto combos these days. Whatever. 
that's still my gripe on Dragon Ball. I think Auto Combo is too much. Uh, but you know, we we adapt. Uh, by the way, I tried the same combo as the Rush combo manually, but the damage was exactly the same. All right. So I'm okay. I'm gonna guess that the Rush combo is like Dragon Ball's LLLLL, right? Like the very basic no damage. Uh, you know, it's really that it works regardless of the screen position. Uh, that that's a bit scary, but we'll see. Uh. So, the scary bit is, he says, this is a so-called simple combo, but the damage is so high that you can't believe it's simple. Uh, scared. Let's see. I'm, I don't know. I'm guessing he had auto combo there. Wow. Which is... That in 3v3 is not high damage. So, I know I don't know the, the person writing's uh, fighting game background. So, yeah. Uh, one of the systems that's supposed to be is the Nen Pacto. Is it like a Zan Pacto with Nen? Damn, I'm, I, I feel I feel Japanese. Uh, by pressing X button, uh, the standing. Oh, it's for impact. Nenpacto. Okay, I, I had bleach in my head. Uh, has an armor attribute that blocks the open upper and middle attacks from the moment. Okay, so that's an anti air. I mean, that's an anti air and an armor move. Uh, okay, so you basically have a reversal. Does it use bars? There's a strong upward attack that can lead to an RL combo. That's two H. That's Dragon Ball's 2H, eh? It's, it's a strong upward attack that can lead to an aerial combo when it hits. That sounds like 2H. Uh, okay. Yeah, anti-air technique. Alright, that's cool. Uh, a hit stop when an attack is blocked is very short, so it seems quite difficult to deal with. Okay, so that's, that's an Nenpa. I think we well, didn't go and do it at the beginning. Let's take a look. What, what was the gun versus Kurapika? Uh, did we get gun versus Kurapika in this? Or, no, that, that's actually a... Yeah, I th was this? No, because that's a charge thing. I wonder if this is a, is, is what they mean by Nenpakuto. Uh, okay, these are not screenshots from this video. Then that means there is more content. Uh... If you press Nenpak 2, you can do something, okay. Uh, and then he's talking about the different characters, so... Uh, Gon is a high damage character. The art's a bit special. Okay, it's, it's Chajan Ken. Okay. Okay, so so you choose the Chajan Ken, right? It's not... Okay. If you use two button, an entire version would appear, which maybe is this one. Uh, that's cool. And the, the super art adds a guard crush. He hasn't said what overgear is. Okay, Kiryu are obviously the best at speeds. Uh, he better be. Uh, he better be. He has techniques to stop his opponent. Okay, uh, his art while jumping is an, a technique that throws lightning in front of him. Okay, he gets some kind of fireballs. And then he's got... Oh, by activating the Aura Art, the dash will have an attack. I mean, Judgment, I'm guessing, hits. So maybe that Aura Art is a, is an insult. You know, a Street Fighter level 2 or like any... And you can dash continuously. Is this what we see at the beginning? Like, he, uh, he extends stuff by, uh, by doing long dashes. Yeah, like there. I don't know. Uh, Leorio... Long range attacks. Okay. And that's, I mean, you know, I, I like that there are archetypes. Because I think one of the problems of, of the main 3v3 game of today, Dragon Ball, is that there are not really too many archetypes in Dragon Ball. It's, it's everyone plays the game slightly differently, but there is not a zoner or a grappler, you know, it's... Uh, Kurapika is attacks using chains. Okay, Kurapika is obviously long range. Uh... Healing thumbnail. Ooh, he can actually get some some health back. Okay. And Hisoka, yeah, got the bungee gun. A tricky character. That's gonna be a, a weeb, you know, a, a try hard character. Uh, when you hit an attack, you get some fists. You become aura attached. And in these states, you can pull the opponent with bungee gun. 
Oh, so you need to hit the opponent with something to plant the bungee gum, and then you use bungee gum to extend. I like that. That's cool. And Netero. I love the Tiro. I love, uh, like, one of my favorite anime archetypes is old overpowered man, right? Netero in Hunter Hunter, Genryu Yusai in Bleach, I don't know, I, I just think, like, when the old man is gassed, I, I don't know, I think it's cool. <laughs> uh, six hearts is fist that leaves the sound behind, yeah, that's, that's this. Uh, this is, a uh, Jiren. <laughs> The mid range attack is mid range. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, the, by patiently pressing and holding. Okay, so you can hold. So he has he has whole stuff. Usually, when characters have whole stuff and variable timing, you get some very interesting combos where you have to hold a certain amount of time. Uh, okay, over gear. Thank you. It's a system that can only be used once during a battle. So sparking X factor. Uh, you know, all that stuff. And when activated, it increases the character's attack power and movement speed. That's X-Factor, then it's not sparking. Uh, it seems that the smaller the number of people left on your team, the more the power will be increased. Standard X-Factor slash sparking thing. So if you activate Overgear in a difficult situation, you can expect a tremendous amount of power. Uh, yes! Comeback mechanics. Who doesn't love them? I don't. Overgear can be activated not normally, but also during a move or guard. So yeah, it's also a burst. Uh, ooh, that, 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 that's very Dragon Ball. Like, you know what, like, this aura looks like the Super Butoden aura, if you've played the old Dragon Balls. Uh, quick Gear is a self-threatening system that can be activated by converting the recovery gauge, uh, so that's the Grey Life, in one's own physical strength. Oh, that's a... Conversion is the name of that mechanic on DNF Duel? DNF Duel mentions? Uh, in DNF Duel, you can use your Grey Life, I think you convert it into meter to extend your combos. So... But it's the same it's the same studio as the NF duel, right? So it makes sense. Uh in one's own physical strength into effect time. This can also be performed during the movement of a technique and can be used as a part of a continuous technique or as a means of shaking the guards. The duration of the effect varies depending on the amount of recovery gauge, but the effect itself seems to increase the character's attack power and speeds, similar to overgear. Okay, unlike overgear, the activation action is very short. Uh, so tactics are attacking again by dashing from... Oh, okay, so so quick gear can act maybe as a cancel, you know, canceling to dash. Yeah, see, that's... Uh, we didn't see quick gear in, in the short video. So see, like, he hits, then he does quick gear, so you can see that there is the gray life being used. Uh, and after activating, parameters will strengthen according to the amount of health that can be recovered. Quick gear and over gear can be used together, okay. That's a break attack from quick gear plus over gear. That's a lot. But I don't know what a break attack is. Uh, we still don't know what that one is. It, I guess it's a game with two rounds. Because if you see this, yeah, one and one. Like I think, I think you have to win two rounds. It's not like Marvel or Dragon Ball where you just win one round. Uh, each character has three types of attack. Uh, okay, there are also many uses of unison arts. Uh, oh, you can do a. So you can do super at the same time, like Marvel. That's cool. I'm sad that Dragon Ball doesn't have this. I think it's a very cool mechanic, you know, to have a... Uh, and switch art is the Z change, the, the DHC, okay. Man, man said, God, crash. That's when you know that the game is not finished, that, that like, English typo is there. Unison art in the performance of our art. Uh, on defensive side, the bounce guard attack. Pushes back the open by pressing the attack button. Uh... At the same time. Oh, that's that's advancing guard then. So it's either instant block if it's skilled, if it's skill based, or advancing guard if it's you press the button. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so bounce guard is advancing guard. People probably be happy about this because people, I remember when Dragon Ball came out, people were like, oh, why is there no advancing guard? Uh, once you drive your opponent to the edge of the screen, you can follow up with a ground break attack. Okay. Uh, the main feature of this game is that it has a lot of elements aimed at beginners. I mean, I hope it can get people into the game without without deterring to the main competition. That's my main, that's my main thing. 
Uh, yeah, that, like good techniques. Oh, I mean, you see, I think it's it's really hard, you know, to get a, a game that works well for beginners and and masters. But I think the thing I hope they do, and they won't because it's a small studio, they don't realize that what gets beginner in is tutorial and single player mode. If you don't have a good tutorial or a good single player mode, you don't have beginners playing, that's all. Like, I don't care about the game being very easy to play. If the game is just I come in and I play online, it's not It's not gonna keep... It's not gonna keep beginners. Okay. Alright. Well, listen. Let me know in the comments how, uh, how you liked uh, this. That was genuinely me reading this for the first time and I just wanted to do it because I am ridiculously excited. Hunter x Hunter is one of my favorite anime of all time. Uh, you know, African love. I actually just restarted Hunter x Hunter uh, because I'm, I'm educating my nephews. I have three nephews. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys, we're gonna watch Hunter x Hunter together. Uh, so I've, I'm like, you know, rewatching it to, uh, to refresh my memory and everything. But I'm really hyped for the game. I'll try to like maybe do a stream this weekend where we can watch all of the footage because it's Evo Japan right now and we're gonna get some more stuff. Uh, but let me know what you thought. Uh, hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, am I a content creator now? I don't even know, man. But yeah. Thank you guys. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go. I'm gonna go to the gym now. Look at this. It's daylight. I'm gonna go touch grass. Goodbye. See you.